How y'all doing today? It's your boy Jermaine from Shovel Nose Hogs, back with another video. And for this video, I want to talk about a parasite that could potentially devastate not only your hog nose collection, but if you have lizards or other type of reptiles. And um, it's not too many people that I think know about this and know how dangerous this is um, in terms of collections, because a lot of us animal collectors, especially with snakes, we, we have large collections, man. You can't just have one snake. Usually it starts off as one, but then you have a lot. And people always tell you, somebody that's an experienced breeder or an experienced keeper will tell you that you need to quarantine your new animal. And when I first got into reptiles, I had no idea what quarantining was. Um, but as I done research, I kind of had an idea of why you should do it. Um, initially, I thought you quarantine your animals just to prevent mites um, because mites can jump from one animal to the next. They can infest your room or your house or wherever you're keeping your reptiles. And so I was like, OK, that, that makes sense. Um, but I had no idea about different viruses and parasites that can um, be prevalent within your animals. And not only um, are they highly contagious and can jump from one animal to the next, they're usually fatal. And having one animal, one new animal that's infected with a virus or parasite, it can decimate your whole collection. So, um, the, the, the parasite I want to talk about is crypto. Um, and um, there's other parasites. One is called the, the natovirus, which is a virus that usually affects like green tree pythons, uh, green tree boas, ball pythons. And it's kind of like a, a virus spread um, through a respiratory tract. And it's, it's basically a fatal virus. But kind of doing my research and talking to other people that breed hog noses, that virus isn't really prevalent in hog noses, but this parasite right here is. So we're going to be talking about crypto, um, also known as cryptosporidium. Um, and if your snake or your lizard or any other reptile has an infection of this parasite, it's called cryptosporidosis. So let's get into it. So um, crypto is the name of a stomach and small intestinal infection. Um, that can occur in reptiles um, and it's caused by a number of parasites in this family and so the two main areas that these parasites um, affect is the stomach and small intestines so um, if the stomach is infected you may see signs of vomiting weight loss um, and even a firm bulge in the stomach area um, if the small intestines is infected you may see diarrhea, weight loss, or poor growth in your animal. And like I said, this, this um, parasite can affect a, a wide variety of ranges. So kind of looking at this website, um, this organism is passed through the stool. So um, instead of like the natovirus, it's passed through respiratory means. Um, having an unclean um, animal or sharing the same tanks and different things like that is a very good way to spread this um, parasite. So if, you're, if your snake gets this um, parasite, then there's either the stomach or small intestines will swell and it reduces the ability um, of the snake to digest food properly. And so the animal becomes thin, starts losing weight. And in snakes, this swelling can also often lead to a small lump and then the snake will eventually starve to death because it can't digest its food. So let's kind of get into how this parasite is diagnosed. So um, usually it's diagnosed by taking a sample of the feces and then um, they do a PCR test to test to see if that parasite is present. Um, in terms of the treatment, there are some treatments in terms of like if you have lizards and geckos, um, there are some anti antibiotics that can help, but in terms of snakes, um, it's, there's really no cure to it. And usually you have to euthanize your animal, which is very, very devastating, especially if you just have your snakes as a pet or if you have your snakes as, you know what I'm saying, as an investment if you want to be a breeder. So prevention, um, this is why it's very important to quarantine your animals. And this is why I've changed things. 
Um, because before, I, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't quarantining my animals. I just thought all my snakes were healthy. They were eating good. They looked good. But what if they had the parasite, man? I could basically lose my whole collection. So um, as you can see in my feeding videos, I no longer feed them on the same table. Um, I try to keep everything as separate as possible. I wash my hands in between feedings, which I don't see. Um, also, I use hand sanitizer. I don't cross contaminate anything anymore. And also from now on, in terms of quarantining, any new animal that I get will be quarantined for a minimum of three months. And I will also test them for crypto. That's going, that's straight up going forward. I'm not messing around with this. And also I'm gonna be contacting the breeders of any snakes that I may be interested in to see if they're testing their snakes and things like that. I think that's very important. Um, so let's get into how you can test your animals for crypto and what I use. So the, the company I use is called Research Associates Laboratory. And so here's the website. Um, what you do is you go to the home screen, you go to the reptiles and amphibian order form, and then you go to sample collection supplies. And so you click on supplies, you go to reptile amphibian test kits. And so what I purchased, since I only have seven snakes, um, I purchased the, the reptile swab kit for 10 swabs, which is $18. Now this is just the price of the swabs, it's not the price of the individual test. Um, each test is $25. So, so far I've only tested one of my animals. And so I'm about to show y'all how, what, what comes in a package, the order form, and how you test your animals. So stay tuned with me. All right, how y'all guys doing? Um, just opened up my package from the Research Associates Laboratory. And so basically this is what it comes with. One, it comes with the reptile testing instructions. So as you can see, they give instructions for the different type of parasites or viruses and bacteria that you want to test for. And so you got the different categories because some of them need fecal samples, some, some of them need saliva samples. They also have some directions on the back for like a fungus. Um, if you want to test your tortoise re respiratory, see if they have um, a respiratory infection. So for my hog nose snakes, I'm going to test for crypto or cryptosporidium. And with that, I just need a fecal sample. Um, if you have like ball pythons or tree boas, um, the natal virus is the one that can um, mostly affect them. So you would actually need, or reticulated python, you actually need like a saliva sample. And also you need to ship that like within 24 hours. Um, it also comes with a submission form where you kind of fill out your information as well as your animal's information as well as what you want to be tested for. So this package right here of 10 swabs was $18. Um, when I initially bought it, I thought that was all I need to pay for, but actually that's just for the swabs. Um, then you come down here with the submission form and based on what you're testing, um, it's going to be an additional price. So let's say you had a ball python and you want to uh, test them for the natal virus, that will be $60 per sample. Um, with the hog nose snake, since I'm testing for crypto, it's going to be $25 per sample. So I didn't really know that. So basically, if I was to use 10 of these, that would be $250 to test 10 hog nose snakes. Um, because of that cost, I didn't realize it was going to be like that. I'm just going to test um, one snake right now, and that's going to be Diablo, my newest snake, my super arctic uh, anaconda. Hopefully, he's doing all right. He's my newest snake, and um, he's the one that I want to breed. Uh, this year and so those are the two things that comes with it also it comes with these uh, 10 sterile um, things right here swabs that I'm going to be taking my fecal sample with and then all, all I do is just put it back in here and then uh, mail it off and I have let's see, I bought some of these um, from Walmart and this is what I'm going to be mailing the samples off with All right, so hopefully you guys can see me pretty good. I'm gonna start the process. Um, I'm gonna break this seal. So as you can see, this is the, the little swab. All right, and this is what I'm gonna be testing the fecal sample with. All right.
So Diablo actually pooped on this little cave. So this is what I'm gonna dip it in. Hopefully y'all can see that. Get a good sample of that. Set this to the side. All right, so take it in here. I'm gonna put it back. Close it up. And then I'm gonna fill out the paperwork and I'm gonna mail it off. So um, they say I'll get the results in 24 hours uh, after the submission. Hopefully everything comes clear. Um, and everything goes good and you can probably hear Diablo's going crazy right now. He's hissing at me. All right, so here's the results um, for Diablo. As you can see, the company that I use is Research Associates Laboratory. And once you mail in your samples and once they receive it, um, they'll give you results back in 24 hours via email. And so you can see um, I have all the information down, um, his lab ID number, the date in which they received it, Diablo, the animal name, the species, hog nose, and then uh, the median, which is a swab. And as you can see, he tested negative for the crypto, which I'm very fortunate to say. I was very nervous, so um, which is a good thing. So I haven't tested any of my other snakes. I will. I'm in the process of doing that. Um, it's a good sign when they test negative because that probably means that all my other snakes are negative as well, which is not 100%. Um, guarantee but like I say you can't really just because they got a negative test result doesn't mean that he doesn't have it so um, maybe in a couple months from now uh, once I've tested all my other snakes I may start retesting them just to make sure but like I say any new snakes that I get um, they're gonna be strictly quarantined and they're all gonna get tested uh, for crypto just to make sure that I don't introduce any unwanted parasites or viruses within my collection. So if y'all have any questions or y'all thought this video was informative, leave a like, also leave a comment, um, subscribe to the channel. Also, you can um, subscribe or follow me on Instagram at Shovel Nose Hogs.